A team of inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency are in Tehran for their second visit there in as many months. A senior UN nuclear inspectors seen here leaving Austria for Tehran on Sunday had visited Iran only last month. They're holding talks aimed at getting Tehran to respond to concerns that it's working on developing nuclear capabilities. Iran continues to insist it's not developing nuclear weapons and its atomic development is purely for peaceful purposes. Iran's foreign minister is calling for a resumption of international talks on its nuclear program as soon as possible. Okay, we're joined now by Justin Dargan, who's a nuclear energy analyst from Harvard University. Justin, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Uh, how significant is it at this stage that the IAEA gets the assurances that it's seeking that Iran is not seeking to build a, a nuclear weapon? Well, basically what the IAEA is looking for is to diffuse the tension at the moment, because obviously there has been a series of uh, tit-for-tats that have occurred between Iran and the West. So the IAEA is looking to get some uh, substantial clarification from Iran uh, that it is that it has not engaged in nuclear weapon nuclear weaponization of its uh, uranium enrichment program and that it is going to allow the inspectors to visit some of it some of the sites which are suspected to be engaged in uh, nuclear weapons um, uh, production or what have you uh, so the IAEA uh, inspectors really want to have access to Iranian officials they want to be able to have unfettered access uh, in accordance with additional protocol to be able to visit some of these suspected sites so let's look at what we know about where Iran is in terms of its enriching of uranium. It says that it's got thousands of more centrifuges and that it's producing 20% enriched nuclear fuel. Now, what does that actually mean in terms of what it needs for power and what it could need for weapons? Well, basically what it needs for power would be about 3 to 4% enriched uranium, and that would be anything a civilian nuclear program uh, would need in order to make a viable uh, power uh, production program, power generation program. However, uh, when you start to get to 20%, yes, there are some valid needs for that, but then it starts to get a bit more suspicious because the Iranians are saying that they need it for medical research research, but it's much easier to get from 20% to about 90% enriched uranium than it is to get from about 3 to 4% to 20%. So once you get to about 20%, then it's much easier to get to that breakthrough moment whereby you could weaponize your program if you wanted and to create fissile material. So what sort of time frame do you think we're looking at here that Iran would be getting an atomic weapon? Well, I still think that the Iranians are uh, quite far away uh, from weaponization uh, of their program because if you look at it, uh, much of their uh, infrastructure is quite antiquated. Uh, it's creaky uh, and they've also been under the threat of, uh, of sanctions uh, for some time and also military threat. And there has been, of course, um, several high profile assassinations of some of their primary uh, nuclear scientists. Uh, so the Iranians, in my view, are are not that close to breaking out with uh, weaponization. Although I think that uh, if they were really focused on it, then within the next uh, four to five years, I think mm. that could be possible. But it's not going to happen tomorrow. Mm. Okay, well, that's uh, good news for the region. But with these sanctions that uh, uh, have already been slapped on, do you think they're having, I mean, they are clearly having an effect on Iran, but do you think they're having an, enough of an effect on the nuclear program, or have they come too late? Is it already too late to have any effect? Well, I think that the sanctions itself are uh, meant to be used as a type of stick uh, for the Iranian leadership. I mean, so any type of sanctions which are related to the nuclear program itself have already been developed. But these new sanctions, which are targeting uh, Iran's oil industry, which are targeting the financial sector, these are meant to put a lot of stress on Iranian authorities and to get them back to the negotiation table so that they feel that it's much more viable for them to cooperate with the Western powers as opposed to go, go it alone and start to develop uh, their um, nuclear uh, program uh, up until the stage where they get to weaponization. Okay, Justin Gargan, very interesting to speak to you. Thanks very Thank much you. for coming in.